In terms of net zero, industrial interventions are only going to get us so far. It's how we manage our land that's really going to make the difference in the equation. We've got a continuum here between industrial interventions and nature-based solutions. There's a lot of focus on industrial interventions, but we also need to put equal emphasis on our nature-based solutions and how we manage our land. Take soil, for example. Two to three times more carbon is tied up in the soils of the world than in the atmosphere. So if we take the top 30 to 40 centimetres of soils and improve the carbon content by just 0.4% every year, that will have a massive impact on our carbon reduction. In terms of our emissions, it means that we could compensate for all of the atmospheric carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere through putting it into the soil and capturing it there. In terms of nature-based solutions, we need to look at the whole picture, the economic, the social, and the environmental parts of sustainability when we're looking at our decision-making processes. We need to look at the interconnections between these topics. We need to look at how biodiversity, soil health, flood resilience, climate cooling all sit together. It's about using those hidden values of the land, those services that we often take for granted as society to find the solutions that are fit for the future. At Grosvenor, we're taking a holistic approach to nature-based solutions. So for example, we're looking at whole ecosystems to improve the water quality for spawning Atlantic salmon. We're looking across our farms in terms of soil health and flood resilience and biodiversity. In our upland areas, we're undertaking an extensive programme of peatland restoration, which helps to store carbon, increase flood resilience and also enhance biodiversity. We also have a long-term programme of tree planting to sequester more carbon across the estates. A lot of this timber will then go into being used for our own purposes. At the moment, we've got lots of discrete sustainability disciplines. So you've got net zero experts, ecological experts, finance experts, planning experts. But in order to get the best solution, we're all going to have to work together on this to look at how we formulate the best solutions with a variety of disciplines. Now we are getting there, we are seeing movements towards this, but there are still some barriers in terms of the languages that the different disciplines speak, how the finance industry talks to the ecologists or how the net zero people speak to landowners, for example. So I think that's an area in the UK that we could get a lot better on and form this common language with the common goal of climate adaptation and resilience.